Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Batman Arkham Shadow Overview. Today on the palette we have the biggest release of this year, brand-wise, cause if you'd remove the Batman setting, maybe it would not be as spectacular. However, it is a similar situation to how the sequel of Asgarath was treated as a launch title for the headset. Having said that, I still have yet to receive my free S and the Batman free copy, so... I have to review this like any normal game on the quest store. So Batman Arkham Shadow is an action superhero game. Well, on the 4th of July you need to protect the Gotham City from an incoming threat led by Rat King and his pack trying to prevent the day of wrath before it's too late. My backstory with the series is literally none <laughs> because I was never gravitating towards Batman himself, I watched maybe like one film, but the story is completely flying over my head and so does inside this game, so... The only thing I can judge is the mechanics and technicalities of it all. The game revolves mostly around the superhero character and close quarter combat using your actual fists or some gadgets to turn around the tides. Visually it's pretty interesting because it fully goes into the shadow ambience, creating very immersive environments that really make a big impression that you're actually inside the game. I wouldn't say the same about certain textures or special effects, cause sure you won't be perusing every single corner, but then there's lacking of attention to detail. So while the main story path is well done, the rest is kinda just average. I also didn't necessarily enjoy how the game kinda moved my body for me. That is mostly present in certain movement mechanics that are being treated as cinematics. Personally, if something steers my arms, my hands or whatever against my will and performs some action that I don't do, that kinda takes me out and that's probably due to the fact that your avatar is filled with interactions but has a specific usage. There's also a case of combat mechanics where you have to follow certain patterns and pop-ups that lead you in actions that you should perform. How I would describe it is that half of the time you can do something from you but then to actually progress, you need to perform certain actions that are according to what the UI is saying. It's not like a huge deal, but then some kind of personal freedom is taken away. In general, I think from what I've played so far, it's rather solid. I'll definitely continue this, like there's no question about it, it's just that my enjoyment won't be coming from the story-based perspective, but rather general interactions and games mechanics, which are pretty okay, but not the best either. Let's go become the Batman. Hello? Yes, hello, you're on the air. Hello. I just wanted to say that when we're considering the rhetoric being thrown around, you know, the rats are violent by nature, or vermin... And you are talking about the people known as the rats, right? Not actual rats. Yes, of course. What I mean is, we need to be aware of how society has become split, polarized across the whole culture, right? Okay. Well, when you consider the rats' anger at uh, inequality and their distrust of elites, you have to see it runs both ways. So, what do you suggest? All I'm saying is, if we're going to escape this, this paralysis, then they need our understanding, not incarceration. Thank you for your call. See, from what I understand, it sounds like a lot of these rats actually want to be put behind bars. This is Jack Ryder after hours. You're on the air. Hello? Oh, uh, yeah. Hello? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've seen these guys. I saw them at one of their so-called rallies last week. And what'd you think? I mean, was it a protest? A riot? There were fights, looting. It was the most appalling thing I've ever seen. What's that line? The only good rat is a dead rat? I hear that. They were... <sighs> Jesus! It was unbelievable! And when I see someone waving one of their signs, I think that they're scum too. Thanks for your call. 
Was it a protest or a riot? A question we all need to be asking ourselves. <clears throat> Who am I? Like the person in the mirror. Also, those graphics weren't really crazy inside, but I think outside is going to be better. Welcome to Gotham, I guess. Oh, that was an accident. See, that's what I'm talking about. That Batman's a total hypocrite. He's all on my ass about putting the fear of God into one of those rat pieces of shit, and then he turns around and kills one. Since when does the bat kill? Since tonight, I guess. Hey, it's about time someone started showing those guys we mean business. Yeah, I think Batman's got the right idea. Those guys are animals. They do call themselves rats. Truth in advertising. Yeah, right. So he's not a Batman. That's interesting we have a different perspective. No more Batman. Now drink to that. God damn it! Due process! Hutch! Pettit! What are you doing? We're better than this! God, has this whole city lost its mind? Give me your name. <coughs> it's Malone. Congratulations, Malone. You're going to Blackgate Prison. Okay. I'm Alexandra Brackett, reporting live from the streets of Gotham, where tonight's 4th of July celebrations are marred by shocking violence. Police continue to search for the elusive Rat King, an unidentified terrorist leader whose followers have brought our city to the brink of destruction. Alfred, what's the situation? Quite the rat infestation, sir. GCPD sent a squad to flush them out, but the police have gone silent. Now we're talking. I have no idea where are we in the story, because I'm not really following Batman nowadays, so... So far, no idea what's going on. Alfred, add this to your schematics of the sewers. The rats marked the locations of their hostages. Yes, sir. Check your map. That's a very cool menu. Try and get past this. Don't jinx it. Tell the boys to kill those cops quick. The bat's here. Locked. There must be another way besides that door. I mean, those things are crazy. Our king speaks. It started? Hey, this is high try. Want some help? Watch this door. Nesting this close to the docks. Bold. Reckless. It's like they want to get caught. There's some arm movement that I don't like. Because it does that for me, so why I can't just pull out a pulley? Plans show a duct connects to the pump room. Check the walls. Or follow your nose. I'll look for the vent.
Gotham has a warehouse in the cauldron full of these grates. Seems the city budgets for quantity of coal. can outreak even Gotham sewage. Impressive. At least it's not some insects or something. Seems like we have some extras. A Rat King sculpture. Not quite a golden calf. But an idol is an idol. Or a waypoint for the rats to meet up. I'll destroy any I find. <laughs> I'm trapped. It is dynamic, it's just not perfect VR. It's too wide to jump, but I can glide across with my cape. Too far to jump. Ugh. Oh! Because it's not like the usual gliding magically just flying over, just a slight tilt in the air. <laughs> But that's interesting, we're pulling it ourselves. Why am I doing secrets? Rat King. I have time for that. has an emergency release. Gotham's civil engineers, thank you for their job security. If I grapple to the elevator, I can glide down to chemical storage access. I love that that it casts shadow. How come we got no heads up about the bat? Are they on the same side? Gordon and the bat, maybe. Everyone else? Hell no. Found you. Oh, 
Oh, okay. The game uses combat system, that's cool. It feels a bit arcadey, but that's just how Batman behaves. The thing is that there's a lot of prompts, which I don't know if it's gonna be fine for immersion. So maybe later on I will just disable it. It feels cool. And it's something different, so I don't know. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm gonna give Batman five more minutes. What the hell? He's here! Finished! It's a rage simulator. <laughs> Constantly mistaking the buttons.
It's just like as long as I follow prompts. By attacking those who have nothing, you accomplish nothing. You punch down. We rise up. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> That's a long thought. <laughs> Thanks, Batman. Threats to two other guys further down. Good officers. What are their names? Pettit and Marks. Can't miss them. Pettit has enough attitude for all the rats behind. I'll find them. Thanks. So, in total, I think I will enjoy this. It is more arcadey than I thought it's gonna be. Story-wise, I have like no idea what's going on. I don't know if that will be like a hindrance later on. Maybe certain effects aren't as crazy, though. I enjoyed the whole ambience and shadow work because this really puts an emphasis on making the environment more realistic and conveying certain setting. I wish there would be more movement freedom because even this simple example like I don't need to move my hand and he'll be doing those interactions so it's not like a full VR per se but then you have other stuff that kind of keep up the pace so did the devs cut some corners? Maybe, but it works well. Performance is flawless. The combat as well might be a bit restrictive, but I suppose it's gonna just get some time to get used to.